Basketball, a game of speed, passing, and shooting. It's one of the most well-known team games in sports. For a group of men, they share more than their passion of the game of basketball. Uh, I have some, a little bit of paralysis in my left side. Uh, my ACLs and my knees. I uh, tore my first one, I got surgically repaired, and my second one, I haven't got repaired. I had my, I shattered my pelvis and I lost some motor nerves in my left leg. These men found a game that allows them to push aside their injuries and keep a competitive edge. The coach of the NDAD Wallbangers wheelchair basketball team has been playing for 37 years. I remember when I was the rookie on the team and now I'm the old man on the team. <laughs> that number hasn't hindered his skills on the court with men half his age. Six five. If you talk to Shannon Moore, he'll tell you something surprising about his abilities on the hardwood. Uh, it kind of adds to the fun to me. I, uh, I enjoy passing the ball and people think that a guy who can't see shouldn't be able to pass very good, but that's what I excel in. Shannon is legally blind, but manages to perform at high levels on the basketball court. The team also has people without disabilities that are just as valuable. I've seen it on TV and I've always wanted to try it. So I figured I'd give it a shot and been hooked ever since. For some of the players on the team that don't have disabilities, they've learned a lot as well. I got a whole new respect for people in wheelchairs. Just trying to get through doors and just trying to get around and just live life. In 37 years of playing, Shannon has taken a lot away from the game, but nothing bigger than this. Shows you that no matter uh, what, what you think is wrong with you, there's always someone next to you has it a little bit worse, so suck it up and play. The team travels all over the U.S. for tournaments. They have a natural rivalry with a handful of teams in the Twin Cities.